Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Into the Gungeon. Mod the Gungeon. Let's... I mean, let's get weird anyways. We, we're not doing a friend Sace run, but... Regardless, let's get weird. Paradox. It's been... You know, it's been a decent amount of fun just playing as... Uh, a random build character. Not necessarily a random stats character for a, for a little bit. To hopefully get some modded stuff right away without having a run where... I don't know, our dodge roll is just abysmal or our damage is abysmal uh let's check what do we got all right snail bullets calling with snails made at its home and empty shell uh so that plus helix i actually really really dig this start here really really dig this start snail bullets it looks like it does give us a um it gives us a bullet speed down which is a slight downgrade but it also I'm pretty sure it's like a hundred percent chance to slow down, which if that's true, you know, it's it's a very worthy trade-off. Like, would I like to get rocket like uh, rocket powered bullets or something? At this point, yeah, I would. It'd be quite helpful, but look at how much you can lock them down. It'd take him twelve years just to get to me. Poor man. Poor little man. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. It's been, uh, how many Paradox runs have we done in a row? I, I, it depends on whether or not I can recover the corrupted video. It was not supposed to go so many days without Gungeon, I promise. Whoop. And hell, I don't even know if this one's gonna get corrupted too. I'm working on fixing some tech issues, but it's the, this is Schrodinger's episode right now. It, it exists or it doesn't until it's, uh, <laughs> until it's live on the internet. Right? Sure. We'll see, we'll see. I, uh, yeah, we got a couple, I don't know, a couple cool things on the horizon. We're not checking it out today, but, uh, because I kind of just wanted to, I wanted to save it for, like, like I said, since I don't know if the video is going to get corrupted, I didn't want to, you know, I want to save my first impressions for a video where I'm more confident it won't get corrupted. RGG, eh, never named as a new, uh, new character out, the, the shade that I'm very excited to, to check out. Whoop. The never name, the never named item pack. It feels weird calling it that. Never names item pack got re rebranded, renamed into uh, I believe it's called Once More into the Breach. Which, oh my God! Like I've, I, I think I've, I've said in this uh, in the series, if there's ever one more final update, it needs to be called Once More into the Breach. And it's nice that since we probably won't get that officially, we. We've got that in uh, in this in this pack in a sense now. It, it's <laughs> it, it's just too, it was too good of a name not to be used, so I'm glad it's used somewhere. Uh, eh, hey, the hell is this? Huntress's tools, Apex Predator, and so she left her soul still remaining on the planet. Pressing reload throws a homing grenade. Homing though, okay. Four, three, two, one. We don't have any, any kind of like indicator of when it happens. Whoa! All right. Okay. Okay. That seems really good. What tier chest was that in? Blue. All right. I'm here for it. It's a, you know it doesn't have to really. Uh, we don't have to be concerned about any kind of ammo. Like, it does an additional thing, too. It, like, it shoots out that... The homing glaive, and then it also shoots out that extra stuff there. Womp. It seems like when it blows up, or when it hits its enemy... Why? 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 why come on. When it hits its enemy and it fizzles away, it looks like it does the uh, little extra effect there. Are you kidding me? Is there, sh is there a bullet, like, much bigger than normal for some reason? Why, why were we not able to squeeze our uh, our bullet in that hallway? See that? What the hell? What? What's happening? Let me check something. It's not this, is it? No. It's not this, is it? What the actual hell? Looks like it's not having an issue with that, so I guess it's just something with the rusty sidearm. 
does it what on earth you see that have it has the rusty sidearm always been had that bad of hit detection see look at that look where i'm firing wow oh my god is that always been the case how have i never noticed that probably because i don't really use my starter weapons very often you know, past the first floor, and a lot of times not even through the entirety of the first floor, uh, I'll, I'll use it. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, but there's a, there's a couple rebrands. Also, Blazy Cat's garbage item pack got rebranded to Prismatism. I am currently having issues getting it to run without causing massive stuttering so I currently don't have it installed that's something I'll have to reach out for if I if I remember to do because uh, uh, there's a lot of items in there that I you know I'd like to I'd like to have involved but currently we don't have that one we don't have that one installed I keep on trying I keep doing a B tests whenever I have issues I do a B tests with literally like my whole mod pack where I remove each one individually take it out put it back and it seems like that that update Ever since that update, I've been having issues with that one. So I'd love to get it back in. Just the current update, it's it's not in right now. The one that's in the... Uh, so with that in mind, the, uh, the mod pack in the description is is always like... It's always loosely up to date. But I let it lag behind a little bit on purpose to make sure uh, I don't put in anything that is, you know... A, gonna be bork <laughs> so i try to i try to play test it a little bit before i up update the version until i get like one that feels kind of stable right now it feels kind of a little unstable so i'm mean, gonna you can <laughs> you can download that pack and you can download updates to a, a couple of the other ones and hell maybe prismatism works for you maybe it works in in for your game could be on my end i know i my computer is a mess man so who knows? But currently, I currently I can't use it. Is this the AK or the JK? AK, AK. Okay, I love that glaive. Whose item is this? First of all, what is it called? Huntress's tools. R or that's not. Wait. R-O-R. Oh, the risk of rain. It's the risk of rain. It's pretty darn slick. I, li I like these, um... I like these items that effectively give us an extra attack. I think it's really slick. You know? I, I think that's really, really slick. I think it's just short of, like, uh, a pack being introduced that <laughs> gives you a freaking toolbar. You know, like a toolbar that gives you a one, two, three, four, uh, you know, like a skill bar down at the bottom. That would be, that would be some next level stuff. That would be some eye level esque stuff if someone were to create an item or like a little item pack that would slowly introduce different like spells. I know it's effectively kind of just like, uh, I guess maybe what you could do is. Oh god, it would be messy, messy, messy. But you could just make it so you get like a little toolbar for your active items and you get to have them all out at the same time. But that's like almost not worth the it's almost not worth an item slot if you think about it, because all that does is save you the time it takes to uh to juggle between whap, the uh the active items. Which is not really not really that exciting and not really that strong. Whap. But yeah, I, I like this item right now. I like it right uh, quite a bit. Uh, like, I feel like half the Risk of Rain items translate well to Gungeon. Or, eh, no, I say like 80% of them. But this one, I think, translates translates the best. I don't really know, you know, how the stuff... <laughs> I haven't played enough Risk of Rain to, to know how it... If it's like an accurate representation, all these items, if, they're, if it's an accurate representation of how they are in the game... 
but I'll just I can only speak to how the item what is going on with our yeah no it's weird our hit detection is so goofy maybe I'm maybe I'm off the rails today I don't know maybe this is how Gungeon always is Maybe it's how it always uh, always is and always has been. But like, see, the hit detection on this isn't bad. The hit detection on this is. What is up with that? It's super, super janky. That can't be how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my dang gourd, man. I mean, it, it should help us hit enemies a little bit more effectively. So that's kind of nice, I guess, right? Right? Or? I think so. But the fact that we can't, like, we literally can't shoot in hallways, I think is what's really telling. That there's something wrong? I don't know. Is Like, we dropped snail bullets. We tried, we tried with, uh, with no snail bullets. Don't know what else it would be. Definitely confusing. A unless it was something like uh, a snail bullets or the huntress item. Oh my god! But it's like as soon as we picked it up, once we messed things up. It could it could be? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. We're almost exactly half. That feels feels kismet, dude. Hip. Hey, interesting. Definitely could do some of that. Especially because it could net us the, uh, the Hrat Key. The Hrat Key. Hrat, hrat with a, uh, with an invisible H. It's the opposite of a silent H. One that you can, uh, you can see but don't say. <laughs> One you can say but don't see. Uh, yeah, we'll do this first. We'll, we'll figure out what kind of information we are working with after here. Yeah, the boss should be perma slowed here, which is some busted stuff. It's not like I guess it's not that big of a deal on this particular boss, but I think uh, th there's a lot of bosses that just totally wrecks, like the lich. It actually. Oh, you hate to see it. Honestly, it kind of wrecks her in a way, too. That move is... It's not a tough move, but it's one of the more annoying ones because it covers the floor with poison. You gotta dodge it correctly. I. So the fact that she could only cover two inches <laughs> is a little... Uh, it's a little funny. All right. Uh, 30. We can do it three times with no repercussions. Three times with no repercussion. One. Two. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Three. Let's just keep going. Keep going. Donate blood. Donate blood. Keep on going. Donate blood. We'll just do all of it. We'll do all of it down to half a heart, and that's where we will, uh, that's where we shall remain. Pop. Pop. Ah. Do we want that? Probably not. It's not a, it's like, not even close to a bad gun. <laughs> oh, boy. What does this one do again? I still don't fully know. It gives us a chance to charm some enemies, I think. I think. Charm an enemy when we do something. Just not even... Don't even remember. We should probably get the item tips mod at some point soon here. I was just having some... Uh, like I was saying, I was having some issues with that, that before. Uh, but hey, it's gotten a bunch of updates. Gotten a bunch of updates since uh, I tried to do it. it was a long time ago. So that's might might be something we'll add. 
The thing is, it's a little, it's a little goofy. Okay, so we got, we get rage. Rage when we kill the first enemy of the room. Rage when we kill the first enemy of the room. Is that, did we finally, did we finally figure it out? Didn't get rage there. I thought I figured it out. I guess that was just purely coincidental. Got that slow bullet. The slow bullet life. It's pretty uh, extreme. So we got rage there. Maybe it's just we get rage when we kill an enemy, but there's a cooldown. Maybe that's what it is. And it's just. It's just aligned well. I don't know, man. It's one of those items that I just, that the descriptor does not help me at all. It don't help me, no. I can't get you. I can't get you. We do need to make sure we, well, we'll get a key from the shop. Guaranteed, uh, guaranteed is a key in every shop. Boy, that did not used to be the case, and boy, I'm glad it is. That that was a long time ago. That was, what was that, AG and B that fixed it, I think? Yes, I said fixed. It was like, a, it was a fundamental issue. Not Each shop not having at least one key to buy was just, oh, God. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Got that rage. Gotta get that rage, rage, rage. Yeah, it was the, uh, the last run. Boy, I, I hope I can recover the file. It's so bad. One, because, like, I hate wasting hours. <laughs> and that's what I did by losing the files. Uh, but... Two, it had, a, it had an interesting run. We had an item that... Either it basically made us we've had it before, but I think I like I built the run kind of around it It makes every enemy like a flip a die and they will either When a bullet hits them when the first bullet hits them they will either instantly die or They will get jammed one of the two and it was a uh, It's a weird item kind of janky item, but we made it work for us We built around it we got. It. We shouldn't have done that, but we can just buy a blank. We can just buy a blank. Here's our rat room. Otherwise, we have a shield. We we netted uh, got a net gain of a hit anyways. If we do that, so it's hardly an issue. Thank you for the key. No, what? Sorry, Mr. Rat. Where the hell is this? Oh, it's under here. So we do have the key. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Open that bad boy up. Find that shop. Ah! Well, I mean, I'm glad we didn't go down and just use our uh, use our shield just immediately. We did put ourselves in peril here. Like, until we recuperate all the HP we threw away. Yes, I said threw away. Uh, then, you know, the situation's a little, a little dire. These slow bullets are kind of slight stank. Slight stank. It's interesting. It's a, it's a good trade-off, I think. It's a good trade-off. Like I, I will happily take. I love this. All right, let's go do the, uh, the blank stuff before I forget. Blank stuff before I forget. Blank stuff before I forget. Do not hold that. Don't hold it. There's no reason to be holding it. All it would do is potentially lose us a lot. All right. But yeah, glass cannon. God, I dig it. It's so good. So, so good. We can 
take this and just keep on pressing reload since it's got an immediate reload anyway. That's an interesting call. Ability to steal. Interesting. Should we steal the heart? Should we just buy the heart? If we have the ability to steal, we could just buy the heart. We should have probably stole it though. 91 is pretty crazy. I forgot. I just did that because I was like, eh, it's not that expensive. It's a low tier item. Nope, 91. What a bad price for that item, but it doesn't matter. We have the ability to steal. We got the ability to steal. It would have been a pretty decent time to do it, though, because we're going to the rat floor next. As long as I remember to. As long as I remember to, we're going to the... Oh, my God. To the rat floor next. Which means we can uh, we could steal on this floor and have very little consequences aside from the one curse. What's happening here? Can you just, like... I know you're jammed and everything, but my boy, you are just... Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a, a room for sure. It's not letting me fire. There we go. This is, this is some, this is some jank, this room. I can't, it's not letting me fire because we're too close. This is, this is no, this, no, no. No, this is janky. All right. Kind of, kind of janky there. It's neat. It's neat in the, in design in a way, but just that bottlenecks are a little too prevalent. I think in a lot of these, uh, a lot of modded rooms, or not even a lot, just some. Thanks for the key. My butt. Just wanted to check before we went over there. It's the bomb. We could have saved a blank. That's fine. Hardly that big of an issue. Stealth kit, I think, is very good. Is that the one where when we get hit? When we get hit, we go invisible. When we take damage, we go invisible. Well, I think the reason I liked it is because... I think the reason I liked it is because we could use it to steal, and that's not as relevant now. Whose is it? Whose is it? I mean, I'm, I, I guess I don't really need to see it. I'm pretty darn confident that I know what it does. I'm going to steal the owl. I'm going to steal the owl. If I can buy the stealth kit, I'll buy the stealth kit. I will steal the owl. Oh, my God. What am I doing? <laughs> ah, he was moving so slow, I was like, ah, his shots won't move fast either. But nope. Not the same. His shots move just as fast. It's actually kind of jarring. Because it's just, it, I feel like I want to assume that his shots are going to move as slow as he does. We got no blanks. Got to make sure we do this right. Oh, hell. Not good. Yo! Oh! No! <laughs> oh, God. Thick bullets. I believe it's the, uh,. The second 50% of their HP. Yeah. I think it's... I think it's the not as good one between the two options. 66. Okay. Blam! Alright, off I go then. Owl is such a great steal. Such a good investment. <laughs> investment stealing. 
Stealing is not a good investment. Stealing is the opposite of an investment. You know? Hup. Off I go, then. But just, I love the owl. He's so good. He's a great friend. He's a trusty, loyal son of a gun. It's a bunch of children having fun outside, and it's making me sick. I'm kidding. But boy, it is hot out. It's Minnesota hot out at the very least. How could you be having fun? I'm a I'm like I turned into a big grump if I have to be in the heat. I just get ang like angry feelings towards the sun. You know? Up up down right down up. Up 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 Doink up up Okay. Next is down. Hello. Break that stealth. Should I be using this? I mean, it's I think it's our best. But I can the Helix is really 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 solid too. I like the homing of this gun right now though due to the fact we have such slow bullets. Down right. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Holy mother of gob! Right? Get him! Uh, it, it, it. Down up. Okay, I almost went up. Almost went up. Down up. Don't encroach on my territory, my man. This is my turf! Can we not? Can we not, mister? I feel so nude with my base red HP, no shields. Oop. Uh, I should probably put off the AK. I think that might be nice. God, I love going, getting the vampire before they're at. It just, it's, oh. Uh, uh. You absolutely love to see it. Do not want to. Ooh, use the rage. Um. Okay. That is uh, some. Stupid stuff right there, if you ask me. Get out of here. <laughs> you punk. Breaking my glass cannon because you <laughs> telefragged me with your whip. Uh, to be fair. No, no, not to be fair. The, the way that he spawns that attack makes it so you're kind of screwed if you're standing exactly like... If this is him, if you're standing like right here, it kind of screws you over. But man, that sucks. Glass cannon makes the rat fight a lot less annoying. Thought I could, thought I could squeak through, but the uh, the part that would have been helpful would have went to the wall there. I kind of want to do like a, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it would help if I knew how to count to five correctly. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe it just, it seems like it might line up pretty well with just the clip. Just the... <laughs> Here, my boy. Thank you. There we are. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Casey. 
Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, 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 left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, punch. Left, 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 left. Oh, oh I was fatigued. I don't know that I've... Uh, I forgot that that's even a thing because I've never memed it like that. So. Why is Metronome so frequently showing up? Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Don't really want to get him all the way there. Yeet. Ooh. Shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Good deal. It's just a glass cannon synergy. I guess I'll pick it up. I don't like to play around it, though, I'll be honest. I don't like to play around it. We don't, I know we don't have to with the drop and everything, but it's like, it's an item I respect, but don't enjoy, like, getting. Because as soon as I get it, I know it, I know the drill, I'm supposed to use it, you know, I know the drill. Oh, God. Ah, we must have got the, uh, the ring of... Yeah, Mimic Anatomy. Oh, it was changed a little bit. I like it. I like it. I like it. The little dots for the eyes. I think that... I think I like that change. I like that change a lot. It's adorable. Well, now I want more Mimics. No, we're not going there. Frito, you missed a secret room on the rat floor. No! What is the shotgun full of hate synergy that we got? I actually didn't... I think that we got one, didn't we? What's this? Oh, Pokemon Snap. Gang? Can we talk about a new Pokemon Snap? I am unbelievably excited. You could probably go back to... Oh, it's just the uh, careful iteration synergy. I can't... There's just like 2,000 ways to get this synergy, and it's... Like, it's not bad, I just, like, I'm not excited about it. Uh, but you could probably go back literally, uh, years, and I've talked about this exact same thing to, to fact check what I'm about to say right here. And that is literally, like, every single Nintendo Direct, since they started doing Nintendo Directs, I said, and this is before, like, Pokemon really started to do their own that or i just didn't realize the pokemon was gonna do their own i can't remember like any pokemon or nintendo uh, announcement related thing i was like my number one thing i would want would be it i want a new a new pokemon snap i played it so much as a kid and i enjoy it i just i enjoy it it's a it's a nice relaxing first person shooter <laughs> it's it is if you think about it if you, if you take just a moment that's it, it it's it's a first person shooter we need more photography fps games you know like do, do they exist and i just don't know it is there like a is there like a safari fps that's not like a sh actual shooter that's like a safari picture like photography game because i'm i'm actually kind of curious I, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of fun, but yeah, uh, Pokemon Snap. I, I dig it quite a bit. I was, whenever I, uh, I, I was whipping out my my N64 because whenever my internet is uh, like I need to reset my internet or having issues with it or just you know like we can't use it for whatever reason. I'll pretty much, like, I'll whip out the N64 and I'll either play through the entirety of Star Fox 64, which takes, like, I don't know, an hour or two. Doesn't it? It takes, like, an hour. I don't know. If you, if you don't die, it's only... It's... it's. I should have should have timed it. If you don't die, it's only, like, an hour or so long. 
Uh, Pokemon Snap's not too much longer, I guess. If you go, if you go really quick, it's longer though. I don't know. Those are just they're ones I like to go back to because it's just not a big time investment. I don't know. Just make make games shorter. Make games shorter. Make games that have endings. Make them shorter and cheaper. Thank you very much. Just like. You don't need to, like, and that's the thing. AAA games bank on being uh, $60 titles. That's the thing. They bank on being $60 titles, and then they're like, man, we have to justify this. We have to justify this price tag. We have to justify this price tag. Shove it in. Shove it in. But, Rick, that's bloat. No, shove it in. Shove it in. We'll get ripped to shreds if there's only 12 hours of story. But it's like, but, Rick, we've closed it. We've closed up the story. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Shove it in. Bloat it. Bloat it the hell up. Who cares if they have a lot of fun for the first six hours and then the sunk cost theory makes them decide that the rest of it was fun too. And the rest of it needed to be there because they enjoyed the first six hours. And they already they already posted on Twitter that they enjoyed the game. They can't change their mind, Rick. They can't change their mind. They appear weak or something. I don't know. What am I getting at? It's a rant. It's a rant. I don't, I don't play, I just, I can't play a lot of AAA games. I've never been able to play too many AAA games because just because of length in general. And like, there's a reason that my favorite games to go back and play are, are older ones. And it's only like mostly because of nostalgia. It's also because it, uh, like the length, they're more compact. They're more compact a lot of the times. Like I'll go back, I will play Kirby's Dream Land on Game Boy. Like, like crazy. You can beat that game in a like what 45 minutes and i know it's like it's it's a tough value proposition to sell nowadays but like it, it, it's kind of i think it's a very obvious path to draw or line to draw like why i started to cover indie games is because i like that compact experience it lets you check out more things he says on his thousandth enter the Gungeon video. I only do it because you guys still watch it. I only, I wouldn't like, if you guys wouldn't watch this anymore, I probably wouldn't play it if that much, you know? Like, I like it a lot, but. I, uh, I, I just, I like the idea uh, of having more games that you get to jump around between. That's why doing the uh, the quick play or the uh, the high renamed it the Let's Try series recently has been a, a blast. I'm giving it like I'm overloaded, so I can't keep going with it right this moment. I also want to kind of like let games pile up a little bit more before we do it. But I truly like to just I, I like to shuffle around my my attention span. This this is gonna shock everyone. My attention span's not great. <laughs> So it's just like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna get hit there. So, uh, I, where, where was I? Oh yeah, bad attention span. Uh, all over the place. Man, that is just like an absolute telling moment right there. <laughs> that whole, that whole deal is just like. See, look, I do know. I, I do know about my attention span. Look, I'm distracted. Look, I'm distracted. Look, I'm distracted. Where am I? I don't know. I lost it all. Let's go with the bullet king gun. Oh, it's got the border again? Games are too long. It's not, not always the case. I just, like, whenever anybody's like, you should, you need to check out this game. It has a hundred, like, is this story game. It has a hundred hours worth of content. I'm like, oh my god. God, I wish that Persona 5 was 20 hours long. I would have played, I would have beaten it if it was 20 hours long. Like, I got, I got six hours in, seven hours in, six or eight hours in or something. I don't know, somewhere there. I had to stop because I'm like, I am not, I do not have the time and I will not have the attention span to get through 
90 more hours, even though I really, really like what I'm playing. Like, it's I really liked what I played at Persona 5, but I just, I knew that I would just stop some point later, so I didn't want to keep going. And that's just it. If the game was 20 hours long, I, like, hell, I might be a Persona stand. It's just, like, I, I've not touched The Witcher. De like, I've not touched The Witcher, not touched Witch Witcher 3. Uh, yep. Uh, I don't know. There's just all kinds of... I, I, a compact story, a short length, is a selling point to me. That's why, it's truly why I think I really like the concept of indie games. Because it's just, they're, they're bi more bite-sized. It's like... A lot of times, since they are at a, a cheaper price, they don't feel like they have to care as much. Like, they, they get to set their price to an extent. AAA games are kind of just like, you get to pick two price points. $60 or uh, or shovelware. <laughs> no, $60 or uh, this game was a remaster, so it's $40. Or, uh, or, or this game's a remaster, so we're going to charge $60 anyways. It's kind of that or your, or it's dreams, <laughs> you know, the dreams, the video game that was 40 bucks, right? I don't know. I, I pay, I bought it and I bought it cause I really like it, but I always get to games like dreams, uh, super Mario maker, a little big planet, a little big planet less. So I think it's cause I had a lot of time on my hands back when I was playing it, um, uh, I love them and I want to support them so I will always buy that kind of Creatosphere style game and I will I will mess around with it. I don't have time to make things for it anymore, which was a lot of times, you know, part of the draw is going in cuz you can you can appreciate the stuff that's made a lot more if you went into the uh, like the creator uh, whatever, creator mode yourself and kind of seeing how difficult it is and how certain things can be utilized and how, you know, certain things might be clever. And I just, yeah, since I don't have the time to do that anymore, I, it's just, oh my god. It's just that they're not as exciting to me, but I love them regardless. Like, I really enjoyed the brief amount of time I put into Dreams. I loved Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet 2 is real good, and Little Big Planet 3 is also in the series. Little Big Planet 3, here's the thing, it's, it's that that's that classic, uh, classic issue where it, it, it's almost unfortunate that they're kind of judged by the game's past, because uh, it's just like... Little Big Planet 3 is a very good video game, and if I played it, if, if it's the first Little Big Planet game I played, I need to know. If it was the first Little Big Planet game I played, I would probably be like, this is such a good video game. But I'm cursed with knowing how much I enjoyed the first and second ones. A big chamber. In comparison with the normal gun chambers, this one is bigger. Was just reload? What does this do? What does this do? The, that extra sound is from the B. What does it do? Big chamber in comparison with the normal gun. This one's bigger. Is this just give is this the thing that gives us the effect where we can um, reload? Is it basically the same as Hungering Chamber? It's okay. It's Hungering Chamber. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Unfortunate, unfortunate that there's two of the same kind of style, but like it's such a clever I idea that you know. Okay. Love that we can get two uh, two bombs, but. Yeah, onto that idea, you know. Question of the day. Question of the day. What game sequel that is poorly received or less poorly or, or, or more poorly received at the very least than the game preceding it, do you genuinely think people would l 
really like if the other one didn't come out. Because I, I here, here's the hottest take you'll probably hear from me on uh, on something that may surprise you. I, I, you know, I, I am a I'm a Paper Mario boyo, and I very much I love the first two the best. Super Paper Mario is also great, but like I, I feel like people like it more universally. Uh, so I'm not, I I would say that one, but I think I think enough people like go to bat for it that I don't want to. I don't think it's a hot take, and I don't really I don't love Sticker Star, but it's it's a game that's it's fine. I think it's probably the worst one. I think that Color Splash should have never like it sucks that it's in the same series. Because I think that it, I think that it would be looked at more positively if people didn't feel like it kept them from getting, myself included. I harbor a grudge towards it. It's uh, it people feel like it's keeping them from getting the game they uh, they really really want. My gun is messed up here. Cool. Thanks, gun. Doink, doink. Uh, eh. But I, truth be told, like, I, I don't, I do not love it. Wait, what? What is this? I do not love it, but I would like it a lot more if I, uh, if I did not play the other ones, you know? Uh, sense of direction modified with the knowledge of making compasses. There's, wait. Points to a room with the current search category. Using it will change the search category. It's pointing me to what? The exit? Boss? But the boss is over here. Entrance. Hub? Hub room? Okay. Reward room. Interesting. You know what? I would love this secret. I mean, God, I would love this if we got it earlier. Special room? Boss. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll keep the boss with the fairy bow synergy. Uh, I just don't care about metronome. I'll keep it on for the, uh, the whatchamacallit, for the final floor. It's not going to help us that much, though, because it doesn't point to the door. Like, it's, it's a different type of compass. It points us directly there. It doesn't give us, like, the pathway to the, like, it doesn't pick the door. You know, it doesn't say, go to this door, then that door, then that door. So, it'll help a little, I guess, because it'll point it'll point the general direction, and then we will uh, we'll be able to work from work from there. Hey, we got a shield. Don't mind if I do, dude. Yep. We're gonna get hit. No, we're not. I like this item a lot, though. I think it's really cool. I would love, love to start with it, because it'd be really fun to uh, to use it tactically, like uh, search for search for traps, Pookie. Search for um, what you call it. The thing, like the reward rooms, the chest rooms. And then you just switch it to the boss ones. It's pretty cool. I like it. We shouldn't be holding this when we're working it through there. But it's all good. It's all good, man. But yeah. Genuinely curious to see what games you think uh, people would, would enjoy a lot more if it wasn't the sequel. Or, or, sp or spin-off. Or spin-off. Like, hottest take, maybe, maybe hotter than the other take. 
Metroid Prime Federation Force is a not bad game. It's not good, like great or like amazing. Like I'm not saying, ooh, let's get a Switch port. But I would not hate to see them continue with that idea. The only reason it gets destroyed and the reason I, you know, was really annoyed to see it announced way back when is because... Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, is because... Or, or am I? Is because we, we thought, I thought, everybody who's mad thought it was taking the place of Metroid Prime 4. But it, it wasn't. It's not. It's always like, you kind of have to judge them on their own merits, but sometimes they are taking the place of the other one, you know? Sometimes they are, and it's okay to be upset about that, not like, or to be disappointed about that. Okay, yeah, see these compasses. Only half helping. I think it's okay to be, to be disappointed about that. I don't think it's good to be aggressive against other people about it. Is the thing. Like, I think that, I think that, I don't know, I remember enjoying my time enough with Metroid Prime Federation Force. It was kind of like a, uh, it was like a Monster Hunter vibe uh, game in the Metroid universe with like space pirates and everything. It was goofy. It was it was goofy. It was out there, and it was not Metroid Prime, not like not even close. So, I I, I think at the same time, this is not as much a, a thing where I'm saying, as consumers, we need to be. Uh, you know, less... whatever. I, I'm just... I'm also saying... There's something to be said about... These companies... Wanting to use the name because they know... It will make... Oh my god, would you die? You know, knowing that it'll make the... Uh, oh, this is creepy. We're absorbing... We're absorbing them! It'll make the game sell better. Cause that's that's the thing. It's, I don't think that that's what they you know were doing with uh, with like Paper Mario or something, but it might have been what they were doing with Metroid Prime, and that's kind of you know there's something to be said about that being a little bit goofy. Cause that you're you're kind of just asking for it, you know. If you're saying it's like a, it's like a clickbait game, you know. God, I love that we're literally just shooting these guys out and then absorbing them right away. It's like a, it's like a clickbait game, and, and it, like clickbait videos or whatever. Uh, even if uh, things got like, even if the title of whatever, the thumbnail, whatever, it, it's all clickbait. The, the videos can still be a good video itself, you know. And that's kind of what I'm talking about right now, in the sense that I, I think that Metroid Prime Federation Force was not that bad. I think that. I don't know. There's a lot to be said for letting a series die. And there's a lot to be said for making sure that you, you know, like, if you're going to add to a franchise, that you are being honest with what you're adding to it. Being, you know, in the same vein. And, you know, it's okay. Like, I think it's good to take risks, too, though. Because it's like, uh, otherwise, I don't know, people are like, I don't know. That, that's a that's a that's a spicier topic because it's one that I don't have fully form, fully formed thought process uh, fully formed thought process on. But you know, it's like it's about games that get you know like yearly yearly installments or almost yearly installments, and the the formula never necessarily gets sh shaken up. What 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 franchises do you think I'm talking about? Do you think because it's I. They're ones that I love, too. And I, I think it's a fine line. I think it's a fine line to, to shake things up, but making sure you're trying to provide something new. And you know what? As time passes, Super Paper Mario, I really... I, I think it's... I think it was bold. I think it was bold. I... Uh, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I've never been mad at it. I always enjoyed it. But boy, it's not the same. But hell, it was a. It was a fun, different style of uh, of a of a similar kind of a game. 
but only similar in like flavor and tangentially related. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're getting Metroid Prime 4. And I think that if people knew that when uh, if people knew that when Federation Force was announced, which they did not, they did not. It was not knowledge that uh, that was being worked on. I think people wouldn't have been so mad. Like people were livid. People were livid. I was really, really bummed. I wasn't livid, but I was really, really bummed because I kind of gave up hope on Metroid Prime Four. Uh, is the exit actually this way? We're getting closer. So it's like a little more accurate. You know, like it's... As we get closer, it's gonna shift a little bit more and more. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm curious to see what, what hot takes you have for, for sequels that... That may, maybe got, uh, got looked at a little bit more uh, critically and angrily than you would... Uh, you would think or that you think is fair and it's just because their uh, their first one was such a slapper I don't know I, f I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like triple-a ones that I'm don't have I don't have the ability to weigh in on like I don't know are people gonna say uh, something about Mass Effect 3 or something I have not played the Mass Effect game so I have no I have no uh, well that's not true I played a, I played a couple hours of Mass Effect 1. I played an hour of Mass Effect 1. This is hilarious to me. Just in infinitely generate our ammo. Sure seems like it's this direction. But I don't know. Like the, the, I don't know enough about like the whole shtick of, of that whole release to really know. To really weigh in on literally anything about it, I just know it was, boy, it was drama. Boy, it was drama. Oh, this freaking room. There we go. I, you know, I think it helped us. I think it helped us. Get him, boyos. Any of them gonna be real? I don't really want to get close because then they're gonna, we're gonna absorb them. And I don't particularly wanna. Hit. I'm trying to absorb these though. It seems like it might have a cooldown, which makes sense because otherwise it would be really, really crazy strong. But it, it seems to eat these immediately. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying I'm trying to piece it together. Trying to piece it together. Is that a B? Is that a B? Hold on. Is it is it changing the sprite of the B to yet another bulletkin? It totally is, isn't it? From bum bullets? No? Yes, no? If it is, I do not want that changed. Alright. I feel like we should get our rage and then do this. Uh, game of rage! Alright. Good to go. Good to good to go. Oh, the slow. You love to see it. Hard counter to this phase. You got half his HP bar before we even finish that move. Oh, we got lucky there. <laughs> uh, Jiminy Christmas. That is that, and that is going to do it. Holy moly. Greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Oh, thank you.
Thank you for watching. An extra special thank you to DHex, Throbo, and Adalric, Justice Time, the Shogun Gun, more than awesome, Semi Colon P, and Patricia for supporting on Patreon of the Go Team Gungeon Tier, helping me do this full time at a time where I could not otherwise. <sighs> if you want to help me without spending a dime, liking, commenting, and generally watching the video from start to finish, boom, you're doing it. You're helping me do this as a full time job, the omnipresent, ever watching, extremely particular YouTube algorithm is always here so things like that will go a long way to help me do this for years to come thank you thank you and I'll see you next time go check out the Hades series it slaps dude